Sometimes you'll meet a medical professional in your life who, I mean, in my experience, I really can tell often, not only don't read the literature, but read the titles, and then even if they read the literature, couldn't understand it. Hello friends, welcome to a special episode. I want to talk to you guys about something I learned about in undergrad, which is that medical doctors are well known for their statistical illiteracy. What does that mean? That means that medical doctors are renowned for their lack of understanding of the fundamentals of basic uh, inferential uh, statistics. So that means that doctors have difficulties understanding papers, academic papers, which means they have difficulties educating themselves once they finish their graduate degrees. Because after you finish grad school, after you finish your medical school, you no longer have a teacher to explain what the paper says to you. So uh, number one, doctors will misunderstand papers. And number two, if the papers have mistakes, they won't catch them because they won't understand the study design section. So to tell you guys a little bit more about this, which by the way, I heard about this in undergrad because I was very into studying statistics as an undergrad. I considered doing a PhD in statistics because I was so into the subject, which by the way, initially I found very boring, of course, like I'm sure many of you find this boring, but if you think about statistics, you'll realize quite quickly, it's not at all boring. Statistics is the study of two things, knowing the unknown from the known and predicting the future from the present. Both are literally magic. So statistics is the science of magic. It's really quite exciting. But anyway, let me tell you guys. So uh, in this study that I'm going to mention now, um, it was determined that although MDs agree that biostatistics courses should be taken both in undergraduate studies and at the graduate level, MDs had what they called exceptionally low understanding of basic statistics. To quote the paper, it was observed that the knowledge levels were so low in all statistical topics, except the parametric tests. Importantly, it was found that the knowledge level about the sampling techniques was at the lowest level. The finding that physicians are almost completely unaware of sampling techniques is somewhat unsettling because sampling is the first important topic that a researcher considers during the planning stages of a study. And not only that, but if the sampling is off, the entire study is questionable. And so if you don't understand how to sample, you know, so, uh, so this paper surveyed residents, practicing doctors, as well as uh, academic MDs or teaching MDs. Uh, this echoes, by the way, a previous Turkish study, finding that even the statistical knowledge of academic staff at medical schools was lacking. Now, although the previously cited paper no, uh, notes that surgeons have better statistical literacy than general practicing doctors. In this study, it was found that some surgeons have low numeracy, specifically, let me quote, have low numeracy and could not correctly interpret surgical risks without additional support. Visual aids made risk transparent. The study concludes by recommending visual aids for all surgeons. Um, in this paper, an article from The Lancet, which is one of the premier medical journals in the world, uh, this article is called Mathematics and Medicine. It's from 1937. Nothing has changed from 1937. Quote, simple statistical methods concern us far more closely than many of the things that we are forced to learn in the then, by the way, then, six long years of the medical curriculum. In this paper, the authors write, some doctors have confessed to us they may read only the abstract or the title as a way to keep track of current research. This is in 1937. Doctors were confessing to them of this. It is important to realize that, quote again, it is important to realize that many times the information revealed in those short summaries will be incomplete. They also cite an old paper, by the way, uh, called Improving Doctors' Understanding of Statistics, saying that, quote, though 15 years old, the article and related discussion remain relevant. Again, this was in 1937. So doctors agree that a better understanding of basic statistics is needed. In fact, um, let me also quote uh, a paper. Uh, this paper is an excellent summary of some of the major gaps in statistical literature that still remain among um, medical professionals. Now, why I was uh, brought this up with you guys here is not to at all uh, draw more. I mean, I mean, it is in a way, I, I want to draw some questions to the uh, value 
of uh, dogmatic pro proclamations from medical pro uh, professionals. Because sometimes you'll meet a medical professional in your life who, I mean, in my experience, I really can tell often, not only don't read the literature, but read the titles, and then even if they read the literature, couldn't understand it. They couldn't understand the paper, even if they read it fully. So often it becomes a big issue. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily you and I can understand the papers. I mean, I can. I can understand the statistical portions. And you can too, by the way. These courses that you need to learn this stuff is not that difficult. You need three courses. You could do them in any school nearby. You could take the courses in your free time and you'd be better at understanding statistics than most doctors. You need uh, inferential statistics, regression analysis, probability theory, uh, and study design and research methods. Those are the things you need. And you just understand those rigorously and you'll be able to understand papers. But anyway, the point of all of this is to make you guys question that uh, credibility sometimes. Know that doctors aren't equipped for research. They're equipped for practice. And they're equipped to practice what they're taught in medical school. And so they have an age of expiry, which was when they graduated from medical school. And them maintaining their learning depends on a lot of things which are not under your control. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for bearing with me. I'll see you again.